My name is Jeannie Benson, and I'm the Executive Director of the Keshet Haim Dance Ensemble. The company originally started in 1983. It was started by Eitan Avisar, our Artistic Director. And I joined the company five years later, in 88, and became originally the Administrator and eventually the Director. The company is an Israeli dance company. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization and a very broad based organization that has many different features, many different things that we do. Uh, one of the main things that we do is concert dance work, which includes local performing and touring. In addition to that, we have festivals that we perform at, that we travel to be a part of. We also have an educational division which does a lot of different types of educational projects in the community within Los Angeles LA Unified School District, also private schools and community centers, churches, temples, really any place that's interested in Israeli folk dancing. We have a group of teachers that are trained that go out into the community to do those workshops. Sometimes they're combined with performance and sometimes they're, they're only workshops. In addition to that, we perform at different life cycle events, bar and bat mitzvahs, mitzvahs weddings, parties, anniversaries, corporate events, and we bring to those events an a performance and in addition to that an interactive uh, dance session usually involving the Hora and getting all the people up and participating. Okay just recently we have brought a fabulous guy from Israel his name is Navon Amos and he has a drumming company in Israel called Demente that is a similar type of thing to Stomp, if you've seen Stomp, that where people are drumming on all kinds of homemade, you know, objects, tins, pans, ladders, they use all kinds of things to make noises. And he's trained a group of our dancers, which we now call the KC Dan KC Drummers, excuse me, KC Drummers, and they are going to be bringing all of this new art that they've just learned to parties. A lot of the time they're drumming on their bodies, okay, it's body percussion. They're using bamboo sticks, they're using big drums that Navon actually made for us that are made out of just big tubs and tins and he, they're crazy, you just have to see them, they're crazy drums. And sometimes they use tambourines, sometimes they use drum sticks with their bodies combined the floor on each other on their feet um, it's wild and I think it's it's pretty new I mean there are people that do body percussion but the way he does it is very unique and um, he's going to be working with us on an ongoing basis a lot of times we will bring in either the bar bat mitzvah child or the wedding couple or the honoree at a dinner uh, in part of our Hasidic Russian suite which it's actually part of the dance where they're if it's a child especially they're brought in standing on the shoulders of one of the guys with a huge talit, talus draping off the back of them that all the dancers get under and they're paraded around the floor but we bring them in during the dance in a costume so people don't really notice that that's the person they know they think it's one of the dancers until they get up on top and then they just freak out <laughs> they just go crazy when they realize that that's the child and then we go straight from that into the horror because everybody's usually on their feet when they realize you know they stand up and applaud for whoever the child is or the wedding couple and then it goes straight into the horror and we bring everybody up onto the floor and that really sets the tone and the mood for your party 
because sometimes it's the only time that some people get out of their seat and actually come to the floor. For people that are sort of bordering on, well, maybe I'll dance and maybe I won't dance, getting them up on the floor and really dancing right at the beginning of the party allows them to feel comfortable in that place and they continue to dance. So it really, um, we always recommend that we do a piece at the beginning of a party after cocktails when people have first come in and then th there's never a lull. You know, the, the party just starts with a bang and it just keeps going. So that's really the best way to do it. Well, I think the highlight of our company touring was when we went to Moscow and we performed in the Bolshoi Ballet Theater, which was a dream, and also the Tchaikovsky Theater. So that was an amazing 10-day tour that we did. We've toured to Israel. We performed in different festivals and performances there, which of course we love. And we've been to Mexico several times. And two of those times we were in Club Med in Mexico. They um, brought, we went with a group of like 25 people and it was Club Med at Sonora Bay which isn't there anymore but we actually created a party at Sonora Bay that they would never forget because the dancers are crazy and they're not, they never get tired and they have endless amounts of energy and so they participated in everything that the club had to offer and then we performed every night once on the beach, once for a cocktail, a couple times in the theater, and we incorporated a lot of people, guests that were at Club Med and brought them into things and included them. And then after that, we took everybody down to the nightclub and partied and danced half the night. So they loved us and they asked us to come back a, another time. We went to Sonora Bay a second time. And that's something that we're actually looking into right now is going back as entertainers. They're not quite as generous with the number of people that they allow us to take, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, <laughs> we'll do it. We've also toured, the companies toured around the United States and quite extensively in California. We also did a club, uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, which a whole group of us went. Um, it was it was actually not booked through Royal Caribbean, it was booked through someone that had a group going on, on the cruise line. And we did several performances there. We also did workshops, we taught folk dancing to anybody on the ship that wanted to, and that was another crazy time. So Keshadaim is known to be a party, party group, group of party animals, and people love that energy. You know, they always want to come to our parties. We um, are very much a family. We celebrate the Jewish holidays together. And a lot of our dancers are here from Israel, so they don't have family here. So they're part, we are their family. Well, I think a part of why we've been around for 27 years is the relationships that our dancers have with each other. They're all very close to each other. They choose to be together at times other than rehearsal. They're very supportive of each other. And the energy that they have and the love that they have for dance really shows on the stage. You know, their enthusiasm really shows. And the same way when they go to a party, they feel like it's their party. You know, they're not the hired guns that are coming in to entertain. They want to make it a party. They want to make it happy and they want the people to be happy and that's why people word of mouth sell us you know we usually get most of our recommendations from places that we've been we don't advertise we're busy just from references <laughs>